Hey, it's John Rochelle, resident font scientist at Comicraft and Swelltype. I've invited you down into my secret underground font laboratory today to show you some tips for lettering comic books and Procreate. Now let's start working with text. First thing I'm going to do is go to my script. So in my files, I've got the script file here. I'm going to scroll down to page four and I'm going to grab this bit of dialogue from panel six. Highlight what I want, copy, go back to Procreate, double click my text block so all the text is highlighted, paste. Now clearly this is the wrong color and a lot bigger than we want it to be. So first of all, triple click to select it all, go to the colors, make it black, and go to the text settings. I'm just going to shrink the size down to something more manageable. I'm going to grab my text block, move it down into panel six, and zoom in a little bit here. And I'm also going to grab the side of the text block and just kind of get it roughly arranged into a balloon shape. Now, a question I often get asked is what point size should I use to letter my comics? And really, there's no hard and fast rule. It ultimately comes down to what looks right on the page. But I'm going to give you a starting point. It involves Procreate's drawing guides and a rule called the three to one rule. And if you've never heard of it, that's because I just came up with it. But I tried it with a lot of fonts and it actually works. And it means this. In comic books, the lettering is about three times as tall as the space in between each line. To set up your grid in Procreate, click on Actions, then Drawing Guide, and Edit Drawing Guide. Set the grid size to 12 pixels. Done. And let's zoom in even more. So I'm going to shrink my size until the text takes up three lines. And then I'm going to decrease the letting so that there's a one box gap between the lines. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. The text is taking up three boxes and then there's one box in between. And notice that this letting is a negative number. In comics, we almost never use automatic letting. It's way more space than necessary, especially when we're lettering in all uppercase like this. If you ever wanted to try your hand at pen lettering, <laughs> you can use the same grid. Just letter over three squares and leave one in between. If you're going upper and lowercase, have your lowercase letters fill two squares and then leave two squares in between each line. So it's more like the one, two, two rule. I don't know, you figure it out. When lettering with a font in upper and lowercase, make the point size just a bit bigger so it has the same weight visually and make sure lowercase letters with small counters like A and E and S stay readable. Now a 12 pixel grid feels right for Ask for Mercy, but it won't be right for every comic. If comics really light on copy or meant for younger readers, the text can be a lot bigger. Let's bring the grid up to around 20 and see how Ask for Mercy looks in all uppercase and in upper and lowercase. It's definitely a whole different feel. If you're not sure what grid size to use, you can always load in a page of a comic that has a size you like and match the grid up to it. Here's a page of Elephant Men. Comes in with about an eight pixel grid, much smaller than Mercy. Ultimately, these numbers aren't important. Find a grid size that fits your story and artwork and your intended audience. Then if you fit the lettering in three squares and leave one square in between, you'll be good to go.